our <laughs> press conference in the dark. Um, this is a little unusual. Uh, just a couple of comments about the weekend. Uh, as you all saw this weekend, the conference um, race finished just as crazy as it started uh, a few months ago with uh, all the regular season uh, seating into the conference championship coming down to uh, the last matches of, of the season uh, on Saturday evening. Um, obviously our weekend uh, on Friday evening was a disappointing finish with Evansville uh, losing five uh, sets of them, but hats off to Evansville, uh, as I mentioned on the radio after the match. Uh, they played a great, great match, um, what they're capable of playing, uh, and uh, they deserve the win. Uh, so, you know, like I mentioned, disappointed with uh, with the result, uh, but we're also really um, proud of how our uh, players came back, our team came back on Saturday evening with a sweep uh, at Indiana State uh, to solidify um, the co-championship with Illinois State uh, after they lost to Bradley uh, on Friday evening. So uh, the seating just came right down to the end. Um, we were watching uh, what was happening with the rest of the conference on the bus trip home. Uh, right now, over the Thanksgiving uh, holiday, our focus is on moving on to the conference championship. Uh, we play the winner of Valpo and Missouri State, uh, who just played each other this past weekend. Uh, you know, the challenges you'll see uh, for the conference championship is this will be the third time that we're playing teams. Uh, so we all know each other. Uh, we don't have much time to prepare for each other. We don't have much time to get better. Uh, so right now our focus this week will be getting the kids recovered after the, the tough weekend. Um, you know, the road weekend it was a pretty tough, grueling road weekend for us. Uh, so we'll probably uh, take it light today and then um, we'll watch some film uh, on Missouri State and Valpo. We don't obviously know who we're going to be playing until that match actually happens on Thursday. Uh, we do still have a couple things that we feel we need to get better at. Uh, we have a couple days to do that. And then we'll hit the road on Wednesday to go down to Springfield, Missouri uh, for the conference championship um, and uh, hopefully bring uh, the conference championship home as well as a regular season co-championship. Uh, with that said, does anybody have any questions? Given the competitiveness of the league this year, Kalani, how uh, wide open is this tournament? Uh, wide open. Uh, you know, you're looking at, uh, like I just mentioned, the last weekend you have um, – you know, Bradley, who's a three seed, just swept Illinois State, who's a two seed. Uh, obviously, um, you know, we split with Illinois State uh, over the over the season. Uh, you know, Valpo and um, uh, Missouri State just played each other, uh, went five. Uh, the match was just back and forth. Uh, you know, Drake uh, was, you know, maybe a week or two ago was kind of on the outside looking in. Some things happened for them. Uh, they earned their way in. Uh, by beating Evansville on Saturday evening in a knockdown, drag out five game match. I think it was 15 13 in the fifth. Uh, so, you know, they're looking at it uh, as life again um, because, you know, with Evansville's win over us, I'm sure people are looking uh, at that result and saying, hey, you know, we have an opportunity to, to knock off uh, the number one seat. So I think it's wide open. Uh, and like I mentioned, you know each other. Uh, you know, you'll come in with a game plan, uh, and the teams are at a point in the season where they're able to adjust quickly to what you're doing. Uh, they, you know, they've got mountains and mountains of videotape, which we have on everybody else as well. So, I think what it's going to come down to is executing your game game plan, being able to adjust to what uh, individuals or teams are doing across the net from you, uh, and then um, you know, a lot of heart and guts because you know a lot of teams have gone a lot of five game matches, and so. A lot of uh, weary legs, a lot of um, tired brains. Uh, so it's going to come down to, I think, uh, you know, battling every single point, every single set, uh, and not looking to the next match, not looking to the next team, just worrying about what's happening in front of you. If it doesn't come out in your favor, how comfortable are you with your resume that you'll be able to get in that large bid? Uh, you know, we've put ourselves in a pretty good position, I think, with the RPI. Uh, but you never know. Uh, you know, um, I think the Evansville loss, you know, probably hurts the resume a bit. But uh, we have had some great wins uh, early, uh, great wins in the conference, a lot of great non-conference wins that are happening. Uh, you know, we're tracking what's happening with uh, some of those wins as well. So I see Kentucky. I think last night just wrapped up the SEC uh, championship. They don't have a conference tournament. 
Uh, so, you know, we feel we've done the best that we can do with our non-conference, uh, with the conference season. Uh, you don't know what's going to happen with, you know, there's still, you know, two matches left with a lot of people uh, in the mix of the, you know, 30 to 45, 50 RPI range. So uh, what we want to work on is getting better this week, uh, worrying about the winner of Missouri State and Valpo, which we won't know until Thursday night, coming up, coming up with a couple of different scenarios and game plans depending on what happens there. Uh, and then, like I said, just taking set by set, point by point, um, and just, uh, you know, adjusting as we go uh, and focusing on that match first. Uh, if we can battle through that, and then we'll just see what's happening on the other side of the bracket. So, you know, part of that is the, I think that's fun as well because you don't know what's going to happen until uh, it actually happens. And so you can prepare all you want, but, uh, you know, if you prepare for one team, something else happens, then uh, you're kind of figuring out as you go. So that's, you know, I think that's to me part of the fun of coaching and competing at a high level. You know, from getting together in the preseason in August to where you're at in the season now, what has impressed you most about how this team has grown and who individually you think has really stepped up? Um, you know, we lost a lot. Uh, obviously, we lost Heather, and then you know, through the uh, you know the departure of a couple of key players, um, we've had to really rely on Rachel Coop. You know, she has had to step into a major uh, leadership role after kind of being in the wings for a couple of years. So she's done a nice job. Uh, right now is, um, you know, leading the conference in assists. I think she's one of the top 10 in assists per set in the entire country. So she's had to step into some big shoes. Uh, we've had to rely on Carly Taylor. You know, she's just been a workhorse for us in the outside hitting position. Uh, but she's had to kind of take on a new ball control role, a six rotation role, which she hasn't had to up until this season. Uh, she's done a nice job, uh, still working on some consistent, consistency with her backcourt. Uh, Piper Thomas uh, has been a workhorse her entire career. Uh, you know, this is her fifth year, um, you know, with having to put uh, Inga on the court in the right side position. Uh, you know, we knew that was going to be um, a young position and experienced position, position for us. So Piper has had to deal with a lot of uh, blockers that are focused on her, defenses that are completely focused on her uh, in the middle position, which is really tough. Uh, you know, we try and run a quick offense. Uh, so she has had to really grow because, um, you know, no longer does she have a single block on her. She's dealing with two and three blockers. So, uh, you know, I'd probably point those players out, uh, you know, kind of behind the scenes. Um, quiet leadership has been Kendall. Uh, you know, the challenge for the, the back row player, Libero Diaz, is you don't get the highlight reel. You don't get the highlight stats. You know, your stats are non-terminal. So it's serve, receive, and digs. Uh, and she's done a really nice job of uh, having to step into that role. Uh, and when you're in the passing pattern, we mostly go with a three-person serve receive. You have some experience around you. It's easier to, um, uh, you know, not have to take control of situations. But we've had to put some inexperienced players around her. Uh, she's done a nice job of being able to step in uh, when we need her, especially in the serve receive pattern. You mentioned they need to get better. Uh, what areas are you looking at this week? Uh, probably game plan better. So trying to figure out uh, from video with Valpo uh, and Missouri State uh, from what they've done recently and then the last time we've played them, uh, just tactics and strategies on how we can attack them to expose some of their weaknesses. Uh, we know, um, you know Missouri State is very physical. They're very young as well. So really trying to be able to um, Walk the fine line and balance, keeping your legs fresh, not over, uh, you know, jumping, not over exerting the players so they're walking into the, you know, the quarter or sorry, the semifinals uh, tired, uh, but still being able to uh, do some things uh, from our side of uh, the court from a strategic standpoint to be able to try and expose some of their weaknesses. You know, Valpo is one of the top defensive teams in the country. They played great defense. Uh, and so, uh, you know, we know the ball is going to come back with either one of those teams a lot. They're both great defensive teams. So just, um, you know, figuring out how to expose weaknesses and then being able to execute those as, as a, the match unfolds and as, uh, you know, as a, as a match uh, gets tougher and tougher, you know, you might find yourself in a four or five game uh, really um, extended rallies. So figuring ways out to still score points. Um, so that's probably the biggest challenge for us in the next couple of days. 
Uh, we feel we have to get better at serving. That's an area that you know can easily be improved on. Doesn't take much uh, to figure out how to uh, you know figure you know in, improve your serve toughness. I think that's an area we've got to get better at. And just a few things with their serve receive pattern, I think, uh, is an area that uh, we'll focus on as well. All right. Appreciate um, the questions and. Um, have a great, uh, happy Thanksgiving, and uh, congrats to football for making the playoffs. That's pretty, pretty cool. All right, you're welcome. Thanks, Coach.